this recording, I'm going to work through the framework that you should apply to ensure you score maximum marks when it comes to discussing ratio calculations. Now, please note, this framework should be used as a trigger or a guide. If you don't have something to discuss, then don't force it. Let's go through the framework and you'll see what I'm talking about. First, you should interpret the ratio. So let's say, for example, you've calculated the gearing ratio and now you need to discuss your calculation. To interpret the ratio, you simply say that the gearing ratio tells us the percentage of debt that the company has in its capital structure. So when studying the ratio calculations, please make sure that you understand the purpose of the ratio so that you are able to interpret your calculations. Now sometimes you'll see that there aren't any marks available for interpreting a ratio. And that's if the ratio is self-explanatory. So for example, let's say you've calculated the movement in revenue. The movement in revenue is the movement in revenue. So there won't be any marks available for interpreting that ratio. The same applies to the gross profit or net profit margin. Because they are self-explanatory, there won't be any marks available for interpreting the ratios. You'll see this often applies to profitability ratios. You are then going to compare the ratio to a benchmark. So in other words, compare the current year calculation to prior periods or similar companies if the information is available. So guys, the reason why we do this is you don't know if a ratio is good or bad unless you have something to compare it to. So if you can compare the current year calculation to prior periods, you can see whether the ratio has improved or deteriorated from the prior year. And if you have information relating to similar companies, you can then also see whether the company has performed better or worse than similar companies. Now please note, when you are benchmarking or making these comparisons, you can't just say that the ratio has increased or decreased. You need to show the examiner that you understand whether the movement is positive or negative. So you need to make sure that you use the correct words. Focus on using words such as improved deteriorated, better, worse. Do not say just increased or decreased. That is not sufficient. Okay, so the words that you should be using over here is improved, deteriorated, better, worse. You can even say positive or negative performance, but you can't just say increase or decrease because that doesn't show the examiner that you understand whether the movement is positive or negative. Then, after comparing to a benchmark, you are going to provide possible reasons. Now guys, please only provide a possible reason if there is a good reason for the movement. So again, you are using this framework as a guide. Don't force it. If you can't come up with a good reason, then don't write anything down. So only provide a reason if there is a good reason for the movement. Then lastly, where performance is negative, you can discuss the likely impact or remedial action. Now please, guys, only discuss this if you can add extra value. So guys, let's say, for example, you've calculated the movement in revenue, and you can see that revenue has deteriorated from the prior year to the current year. So there's been a drop in revenue. That is obviously negative performance. If possible, you should discuss the impact that this will have on the company. So obviously, if revenue is dropping from the prior year to the current year, that will have a negative impact on profitability, on cash flows. If revenue continues to drop, then there's obviously a going concern risk for the company. So that would be the impact. The remedial action is what the company can do to correct this negative performance. So perhaps they need to look at new marketing strategies, Perhaps they need to introduce new products or they need to look at their current product offering and see which products are not profitable, discontinue those products, etc. But that would be potential remedial action. Please, guys, 
only discuss the impact and remedial action if you can add extra value through this discussion. Don't force it. Don't write down rubbish. It doesn't work.